this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. What it do, what it do, what it do, family. <laughs> ah, shalom, shalom, y'all. What it do? What's going on? Kings and queens, what's the word? Woo! Ah, damn. Man. Couldn't even see my uh, chat room for a second, man. Jeez, man. They don't like me on, on these lives, man. I tell you that, boy. They don't like me anymore. Anyways, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> yes, sir. Esau Part 8, baby. The documentary. Dang. Oh, man. Another smash. Another classic. For the dummies out there pushing the dummy doctrines, talking about Esau as the white man. This right here is another classic. And of course, you know, your boy got better with his work. So this right here is crazy, crazy. What it do, what it do, family? Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. I'm back in a building. Man. Editing is a lot of work, man. Jeez, I just got to say that, man. Dang. Oh, my gosh. Editing is just so tedious and... Oh, my gosh. Yo, when, you're trying to, when you're trying to do great work and make those connections and put all the pieces of the puzzle together, man, editing is a lot of work, yo. But anyways, nonetheless, it's here. Another smash, man. Wowzers. Y'all gonna love this one. Y'all gonna love this one right here. Part 8. How did we get here, man? Anybody, how did we get here? How did we get to part 8? By the way, this is this this is this is the finale. No more on Esau. Unless I'm just like teaching directly or specifically or something like that, or trying to show somebody or something like that. If not, listen, refer to the school. All the series is there. But this right here, this 
right here. Killer. And I just want to uh, thank Hollywood for all your endorsements and uh, clarifications and confirmations to everything that I've been saying over the years. I just would like to thank Hollywood. I really do appreciate y'all because y'all really make what I do uh, uh, just so beautiful putting it together, man. So, yes, another Smash family, another Smash we here. Now, I know y'all wanted this a while ago, so I've been busting my behind trying to make this uh, spectacular art. This is this this is art right here. This is this is beautiful right here, man. So, yes, family. Yes, yes. Shalom, shalom. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Um, you can cash at me, family. But if you do, you're going to have to add a dollar to it if I got to plug you in or anything like that. Just so you know. But um, email me, gdastaprofit at gmail.com or whatever, however, man. Yes, this series has been going strong for a long time. And I'm so happy, man, to uh, get this far, man. To get this far at this stage, man. And we still got the campers out there. Pushing that Esau's the white man. Man. Still lost. Still lost and all the resources is there. But once again, man. Thanks to Hollywood, man. To confirm. This is another smash, y'all. Another classic for y'all. Yes. Y'all gonna love this. The way I put this together. Movies bouncing off the top of movies. Scripts off the top of scripts. Clips off the top of clips. I mean, it's so beautiful. And the wisdom is there. Like, y'all. <laughs> shalom, family. Shalom. Yo, we here. Part eight, baby. Part eight. Yes, part eight. It's been a long time. Jeez. Man. All I can say is man, man, man. Another smash, another classic, man. All praises to the Most High for His wisdom. All praises to the Most High for His truth. And this is this is the real heavy thing here. When you find Esau, because they say he's a white man, but when you truly find Esau, and, and why it's so important to understand who he is, this is our twin brother, and finding him and. Where he's from and located and, you know, these type of things, it confirms our history. It confirms who we are as a people and our customs, our language and all of that. Because we dealt with Esau and English was not, <laughs> was not our language. We didn't converse with Esau in, in, in English. And the Europeans, they always had this language. Okay, which was... English is really a Germanic, a West Germanic language. Okay, but that's, this, that's a European language. European, Esau was not European. That's the, the, the most foolish thing. The most foolish thing. All the evidence is there. Okay, I've done the work. The last series was part seven. Nine hours. Nine hours. So, uh, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, another classic, another smash, man, here we go, yes, long time in the making, uh, all I can say is, um, brilliant, man, brilliant, brilliant, the way I put it together, man, all praise, thank the most high, man, for the gifts and for the talent, man, to put things together to make sense, and just confirm things, man. And this is definitely going to open your eyes again more. This, I mean, I don't bring out a lot of book information because I've done that already. For those that followed the series, I've brought out tons of stuff. I've done more research than I, than anybody I, I could think of on this planet. Ain't nobody I don't think has ever done a nine-hour series. And that was just on, on, on part seven. 
Forget all the other ones. Part 7 was 9 hours. And I don't think anybody has ever done that and has ever been that dedicated to bringing the truth and the knowledge forward on Esau. So I've done that. Accomplished that. And all praises for those who have learned and have woken up from the false doctrines that are still being pushed. These camps are getting bigger and bigger and just more foolish and more foolish. And the doctors are remaining the same. So nobody's growing, man. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. So Esau cannot be the European. It's just madness. Madness. Oh, he came. It says he was red. He came out red. Look, this so look, white man, he's red, man. He's blushing a little bit. He's smiling. But you know, that's him. Foolish. He 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 gets sunburn on the back of his neck. So he get a little red. Yeah, that's him. Look, his blood showing through his skin. Look, 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 look. That's Esau, man. You the white man is my brother, so why are you mad? <laughs> Let the let, let 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 the European in. Let the white man in then. Right? Let him in. Don't hate your brother. The Europeans are your brother. Love your brother. Don't call him the devil. Love your brother the white man. Don't call him the devil. And don't call the cops on your brother. Right? Thou shalt not, don't the New Testament say, thou shalt not go to law against your brother? <laughs> but yet these guys is fighting outside and dragging each other and calling the cops on each other. That's your brother. In fact, Jacob fighting Jacob and calling their brother Esau to come in and help. I know y'all saw that, but anyways, man, yeah, man, madness, 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 madness. Uh, <laughs> you welcome, family. All praises to the Most High. Um, no, I have not exposed Esau three years ago. Three years ago was what, 2020? Nah, I didn't start exposing. Well, maybe you came into, maybe you came into that three years ago, but I didn't um, begin. You said begin. I, I just I started doing exposing Esau. I mean, back in like 2016. Yeah, 2016, man. You gotta see the part. I mean, if you're in the school, and for those that know, my last channel got shut down and all that. I've been doing that way years now. Years been banging on Esau. <laughs> that's right Love your Caucasian brother Esau Since you think that's Esau You better love him And bring him into the camps Come on <laughs> Oh man Crazy 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 Yeah 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 yeah, yeah. So if you if you followed my series and, and the work that I've done on Esau, then you already know what's up. This this uh documentary is just gonna be is just gonna make everything smooth, perfect, and entertaining and knowledgeable. And again, once again, like I said, finding who Esau is confirms who we are. Okay, because he's a twin brother to us. He's gonna relate to us, he's gonna have the language still. He's still gonna hold on to the customs still, even though he's worship he he worships a false god, cause you know, he rejected the most high. Okay, I brought that out in the series. He rejected the most high. However, he still had an opportunity to follow being raised up with Abraham. Okay. So if we were to say the white man was Esau, he still had an opportunity to join and learn. Uh, in the camp, and he was rolling. And Esau was rolling with us on on different occasions. Okay, so there's no way that he could be this 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 leprous uh European. 
I mean, it's so many, it's so many foolish doctrines, man. I, I, I don't know where to begin, but uh, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, man. Shalom, family. Shalom. So, this is another classic. A lot of work, but a classic, classic. The connections are crazy. They bouncing off each other. Hollywood is confirming everything that I've been saying. I've been showing uh, beautifully. You know, beautifully. So, all praises to the Most High, man. Another smash. And it's on. Oh, really? What corner store was that? What they said about Esau? Because, you know, I posted a video up about three years ago. <laughs> when I was in the corner store. <laughs> and I was talking to the Adam. And he was basically confirming what it is. You know, they know. They know who we are. For show, for show, for show. All right. I mean, everybody knows who we are. We we are the only people that don't know who we are. Everyone else knows. All the other nations that conspire against us, and they 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 stand back from afar and they look at us like, look at them, look at them, look at them, look look at them, fighting each other, carrying on. Look at the children of the Most High God. These are the people of the Most High God. It says that, right? In Ezekiel. These are the people of the Most High God. These are the children of the Lord. <laughs> oh. No, sir. Esau is not the white race. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. A hundred percent. A hundred percent not. Okay. Not at all. No way in hell. Absolutely not. The white man is not a twin to the so-called black man. That's foolish. But um, I've done the homework. So you could join an online school. You can learn. The series is up. There's seven parts to the series. The seventh part of the series is nine hours alone. I'm touching on everything, religion, language, clothing, ancestry, everything. So, right here, this is just the icing on the cake. Right here. This part eight is just the icing on the cake. Just confirming everything that I've done and some. Yeah, because they know what's up. You just seeing this now, family? All praise to the Most High. Glory to the Father, man. Another classic, y'all. Uh, let me get one sec, one sec, one sec. Oh, man. Yeah, man. This work is crazy. But yeah, man, if you if you believe that Esau is a white man, it's just one of the most foolish doctrines, man. It's just always like when I first came into the truth, man, jeez, I, I just, like, it never, that, that doctrine never sat well with me at all, family, thinking that <clears throat> Esau's the white man, I was like, what, like, it's your brother Esau, and you hear the camps yelling at it, uh, and all this and that, and I was like, brother, and I was like, wait a minute, what, the white man is a brother to a so-called black man, like genetically. And that's another thing I deal with in the series. The genetics. Like, come on, man. Like, like, really? Like, really, 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 really. <laughs> it's just so many things with the doctrine. It's easy to say, oh, one nation shall be stronger than the other people. So, yeah, you know, we're great at boxing and great at this and that and that and all these sports and all that. You know, and one people shall be greater than the other people. And that's how they get you. And it's like, no, it was not talking about that. It was not talking about us being uh, better in sports than them and 
That's what makes these two manner of people. You got to read in context. Got to read in context. And that's a problem. And this is a problem why people believe in Jesus is God. And they believe in Jeepers and, and all this foolishness. Got to read in context. I was talking to this brother on uh, Facebook. And, you know, I forgot what I asked him about Jeepers. Because he came on my one of my uh, posts. Or whatever. And it was something he said. But we were going through uh, Isaiah chapter 7. The verse that they used to say that's about jeepers. Talking about a virgin shall be with child. And I'm like, family, read, read, read in context. And he's trying to tell me all this stuff about Israel splitting up and this and that. I said, family, who are these two kings Who are these two kings right here in verse 16? Isaiah chapter 7, verse 16. Who are the two kings that will be removed before this child shall know to uh, to, uh, refuse the evil and choose the good? I'm like, it's in. I'm giving them a hint. I'm like, it's verse 1. Read verse 1. The two kings are mentioned right there. He still want to run on and tell me this and tell me that and... Family, I'm asking you a specific question, man. Who are these two kings? Oh, it was the house of it was the king of Israel and the king of Judah. I'm not talking about read the cut read the chapter, family. My gosh. <laughs> like, yo, we don't even care to read. We just want to be a uh, uh, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't even about reading and understanding and gaining wisdom and uh, and understanding the concepts of what's being said you know like it's just yo it's about this and it's about that like yo man so yeah man deception at, at its highest man i mean the funny thing is we don't even read when it comes to deuteronomy 18 i mean deuteronomy 28 and we say Oh, this is us. That's talking about us. To all the curses, they fit us. And then when the Most High says, And there thou shalt serve other gods. And those places that you're going to be scattered to. I'm going to I'm gonna scatter you from one end of the earth, even onto the other. And there, where you're going to be at, you're going to worship false gods. And we ain't worried about that. We just worried about, we Israelites. We the chosen people because Deuteronomy 28 says so. But forget that we calling on jeepers and stuff like that. You know, like calling on these false gods. Reading is fundamental. Jeez. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Another classic. Another smizash. It's another smidash. Yeah, man. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so we've been tricked. We've been fooled, man. But the, the reading is it's there, man. We got to snap out of these dummy doctrines, man, and start really paying attention to the words and, and what's being said, man. I, you know, once I found out I was deceived, I was like, yo. It just made me want to go back even more at the scripts. Shalom, family. It just made me want to go even that much harder. Once I once I got the a whiff of like, all right, I've been deceived, and now I get it. I see how they doing the book. I see how they took the script, like like took copied the stories, and created this guy. It's a facade. It's a facade, man. It's just like the government. It's all a facade. It's all for for show. It's all for tricks, man. But once you start doing the research and really paying attention and reading the labels, reading the fine print, then you're like, oh, shoot. What the freak, man? You mean to tell me they've been putting paint thinner in the Cheerios all this time? You mean to tell me they've been putting, you know... Poisoning my food all this time. And all I had to do was just like read the label and, and read what it's saying right here. And 
all this stuff that you can't even damn near pronounce. And now they call it bioengineered food. So you won't. Oh, it's just just bioengineered. That that don't mean nothing. That's just, you know. Crazy. So yeah, man, reading is fundamental, man. <laughs> yes, it it is. Trisodium phosphate and, and, and benzoride and all these wild things, man. It that's, that's that's the heathen. That's what they do. You know? <coughs> Yeah, family, I, I done pointed that out in the, in the series, man. I done pointed so many things out um, in my Esau series, uh, family. That verse that you're talking about right there, uh, so many things I pointed out, you know, with the language. You know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't know how, we wouldn't speak the same language. It tell you we wouldn't speak the same language as, as, the, as, the, as these nations or as this particular nation that we would be scattered to. We didn't come here speaking English. But yet they crucify you. Oh, you don't talk proper English. You don't talk proper. Well, this ain't my damn language. I don't give a damn. In my Chris Tucker voice. Damn. Like, yo. This is not my, 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 <laughs> my. Heritage language here. I don't give a damn. You telling me I can't speak proper English? Damn with your English. You understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? That's all that matters. <laughs> Forget how I said damn. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, <laughs> it's crazy. You see that? Yeah, read them ingredients, man. Yeah, that, that thing pissed me off, though. That's why I went hard. Once I understood what they was doing with the book and how they was basically trick bagging us, stole the stories, and Gave this guy a life, basically. Man, I was so pissed off. Like, alright. You know, now I'm going to really comb through everything. And I mean, it was fun. <laughs> I ain't going to front. It was fun. I was upset. I was angry. But the Most High was talking to us, though. The Most High told us, Thine enemy shall be found liars. Onto you, shall be found lies onto you. It was there. We not listening, and that's what the and, I, and it, it it really helped me understand the Most High even more, and what He's saying even more. He keeps saying we do not listen to His voice. We're not hearing Him. We're not understanding Him. His voice. So they removed the Most High's voice and put another voice out there. And that's the spirit that we've been following and we've been listening to. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I wasn't raised in a church, though. <clears throat> I'm so happy that the Most High kept me out. You know, when people think, oh, because you're not in the church, you're not good, you're not saved. You better get in this church, boy. You know, they think, you know, the most high spared you. If you if you haven't been raised in the church or you haven't been in the church and all that and haven't been raised up by the heathens, basically, don't feel bad. Right? We need to seek out who we are. And the thing is, we've been tricked. We've been fooled, the family. We've been lied to. The father said it. That's why now I hang on to everything with the father saying. And everything the father saying is like... Okay, this this God is not doesn't sound when you're listening, it doesn't sound like the JC character. He doesn't sound like like the books are off. This guy sounds like he's not playing. Like at all. Like he's not playing. Like he doesn't have a laugh moment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he laughs. We know the most like laughs. He laughs at the heathen and he even laughs at 
you know, our destruction. Because we're not listening. We, we become foolish people. But he always says we're not listening to his voice. And that's the key. And now that we are listening to his voice. Now. Now we can understand that New Testament. Jeepers. Yeshua's side. Whatever you want to call him. Is trash. Is trash. Once you start getting the full concept of the Torah. The five books of Moses. And then the books of the prophets. And the, the writings of Psalms and Proverbs. And all the wisdom that they had. Man I was reading the wisdom of Solomon the other day. Over. And I'm like. Damn. Chris Tucker voice. I'm like yo. One chapter. One chapter got more wisdom in it than the entire New Testament. I'm like, damn, no wonder they took this book out. No wonder they had to take uh, the wisdom of the book Wisdom of Solomon out. One chapter got so much wisdom in it. One verse should be like, damn. I'm like, yo. One verse can destroy the whole New Testament. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm like, man, this is crazy, man. We've been deceived, family. Family, we've been deceived. We've been tricked, man. It's sad, man. You know? Thank you, family. If you watched it, all praise to the Most High. I'm sorry, I'm just reading comments. So, yeah, all praises, man. If you woke up and you denounced Jeepers, glory to the Father. Because that's what the Most High wants us to do and understand. Because, you know, like, like, like it says, you know. He that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the con in the congregation of the dead, and that's what they want. They want to kill us spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. You see that? We see that, man. So the fact that we here right now and we can understand this, well, you in a great position. You in a great spot, and that's how the Father set it up. And people don't understand that. For show, sure, family. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, yo. The wisdom of Solomon kills that. Kills that book. It kills that book, man. Proverbs. The book of Proverbs kills that book. Crazy, like what you renege? Like I, it's like I feel so bad, and it's like all right, I was deceived. We've been deceived. Okay, cool, you got me. All right, I get it. We've been. This whole world is like you know the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Now we start to understand even more what that's saying. So it like it makes everything else the father is saying like uh. Okay, we get it. We wake. Like, I'm enlightened now. Now I understand the Father's voice makes counts. It makes sense. Because everything the Father is saying, and through the wisdom and all of that, we see is one, it's another side. It's another side to the story. And for those that want to try to blend it, try to blend, oh, there's nothing wrong with the book and you can't discredit, you're not fully awake. And the most I said he would do this, he would put two and two, one against another. That's how this, this is playing out. The righteous versus the wicked. And of course, the wicked is in power. So you think he ain't putting stuff in a book? You think he ain't trying to disrupt the wisdom and the knowledge the Father has given? You, you think he ain't going to try to disrupt the prophecies that the Father has given? Jeepers only came to disrupt the prophecies and, and the plans that the Most High had for his, his people. 
That's all that book did. That's why we we we've been here. We've been held captive forever. We ain't had no power forever. We're not listening to what the Father is saying. Yet our enemies know this stuff. I think I've seen that the case for Christ, but you said the, the case against Christ. I think it's called the case for Christ. Whatever, for JC or whatever like that. You know, so <clears throat> it's 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 madness, man. It's madness. And the fact that the camps pushing this stuff, it just confirmed for me that yeah, these people sold they sold out. They sold out to Esau. Okay. Yeah. They they sold out. Okay. So Now, now I got to see that now. And that's what I said. I said, how are we praying to the same God? You and your enemy. You and your enemy praying to the same God. And your enemy want to kill you. So if your enemy want to kill you. And he praying to Jeepers. The New Testament God. How that makes sense. Who the, who is the God that we we both praying to going to hear when it comes down to a battle and it comes down to a fight and you call on Jeepers we call on Jeepers how, how that makes sense you my enemy you ready you about to kill me so you going to call on your your God your Jeepers for help and for protection and me, I'm deceived. <laughs> I'm gonna call on the same God and think that, like, how that how that makes sense. Like, how does that make sense? And these are this is the type of wisdom we gotta start instilling in ourselves. We gotta start like tapping into, right? We gotta start tapping into this. This, this 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 other understanding like wait hold on I'm questioning everything now like we got to start making sense of foolishness now we're in the father says it over and over you're in the hands of your enemies your enemies are going to do this to you they're going to do that to you how we believing in the same god it tells you our God has enemies. If our God has enemies and our enemies are worshiping this particular God. Are we sure we on the right side of the fence here? You see what I'm saying, family? Come on, man. Come on, man. We got to make sense out of this stuff. How we both calling for help from the same God. Who he going to hear? So it has to be a division. People don't understand that. It has to be a division. So, yeah. Yeah. But we not making sense of, of, of none of this stuff. We love your shower shy because we say, oh, he's he's black. Jeepers was a black man. What you talking about, man? He's a son of God. And nigga ain't care nothing about you. He ain't care nothing about nobody but him damn self. According to the story. He ain't save you from nothing. And he was... No oh, long. <laughs> Who watched this lesson, boy? Who watched this lesson, man? <laughs> Who watched this lesson right here, boy? Woo! Yo, <clears throat> man, your boy. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah boy, yeah boy, yeah boy. Damn. Oh man. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. If you ain't seen this man, join an online school, man. Bananas. Bananas. Straight bananas. You saw the end of the family? Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you ain't in the online school, man, sh- listen. Check the lesson out, man. 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 This whole time. This dude is this dude is a fruit cup. This dude is a fruit cup, man. <laughs> but the kids be acting like you know, you know, like he's he like he's gonna come back with a sword and be killing and putting people to death and all this stuff. Meanwhile, this dude is a fruit cup, fruit cakes, sweet man. Man, oh man, oh man. Fruit pie. Yes, thank you, family. (laughs) He's a fruit pie. What the hell, man? Very zesty. Very sweet. A lot of Kool-Aid. A lot of Kool-Aid in his tank, man. I'm telling you, the red kind, too. Mad sugar. Just mad sugar. Just 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 pouring just keep pouring sugar. Mad sweet. Super sweet, man. Diabetic, man. Cheese. Cheese. Yes, family. A lot of Kool-Aid, man. A lot of Kool-Aid, man. He love them boys, man. <laughs> Oh man! Oh my gosh! You didn't see that part I brought out? Whose hand is with me on the table? Like yo, it was a lot of fruit cup stuff going on. Uh, like I kid you not, man. This is crazy. Like it just it turns it into it's like all right, we've been deceived. I get it. We've been deceived. And all of that, I, I get it, I get that. But on top of that, your man is a fruit cup. That just changes the whole dynamic of things. <laughs> that changes the whole. It's like what? Do we not understand who we've been for? Who we've been following and believing in? My goodness, man. (laughs) Crazy. Yo. Yeah, John definitely going to get at me. For talking about his Jeepers, boy. John definitely coming for me. (laughs) Yes. Literally, turn the other cheek. Turn both cheeks up. That's Jeepers, boy. Not one cheek, two cheek. Yo. Real, real, real spicy, man. (laughs) That's what I'm saying, man. Yes, you see that? Now it makes sense why the church be packed and full of them. And and they say, come as you are. Don't change, just come as you are because Jeepers loves you. Jeepers loves you. He wants you to stay right there. Don't change. Don't change that position. Stay right there. Perfect. (laughs) 
Yeah, yo, family, I'm serious, man. Check out the lesson, man. Hard work, man. Hard work, man. Check it out, family. Crazy bananas. I can't make this stuff up. I do the research. I study. And I put the, the, the connections together, family. That's what I do. But I cannot make this stuff up if I wanted to. And that's why I be going crazy. I be going crazy like, yo. Yo. You know what I'm saying? And people be thinking I'm sick. They be like, oh, this is blasphemy. And oh, da, 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 da. That's why it's like, look. The deceived will be deceived. That's it. The deceived will be de- deceived. You know what I'm saying? That's on you. That's on you. You know? Hey, you love them. I'm happy for you. But uh, I'm still in captivity. I'm still hated by my enemies. So I ain't waiting for no jeepers to come back. He could have did it when he was supposedly there. You could have killed and stopped and did all everything. Like our ancestors did. Like like our warrior ancestors did. And it came to the enemy. We fought. They fought. And they fought for that law. The law was life to them. Like that was their heritage. That was their life. And they understood. That's all they understood. Was that law. That was their way of life. That clinging to the law was like clinging to life for them. The understanding they had was about the law. There was nothing above that but the most high. So to come into this new deception, this new book, and now all of a sudden now we worshiping a man. Now we trusting and following a man. We ain't follow the law no more. You don't need the law no more. We just need a man. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, they really trick bagged us. Exactly. They foolish too. But you know what? The Christians are, are they more foolish than anything. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and our people are like, it's like the Gentile Christians, they foolish. Because that's just a part of their life, the way they live, their heritage. Like they, you know, they all the Gentile stories, the mythological stories, and and, and all this stuff that they do. That's like a that's their custom. That's their way. So their whole life, their whole life is supposed to be a deception, because that's their heritage. That's how they live. All they know is stealing and thievery and all that. So. Their lives have been built off of just lies and deception and and, and folklore and fairy tales. So for them to be deceived and and loving it, you can't fight that. That's their heritage. Let them be. That's what the most I said. This is your wisdom in the sight of the nations. This is your wisdom. and, And if we got the wisdom, which was the law. What the nations got. If the Most High is saying this is your wisdom in the sight of the nations. And we know he didn't give it to the nations. Well what the hell do they have? What do they got? Foolishness. Ignorance. And they're loving it. Now. Who are we to interfere with their deception and delusion. Who are we? And we ain't really nobody today to them anyways, right? We at the bottom, right? So for us to say anything and they believe it and take some sort of guidance or wisdom from us, it'd be like, ah, y'all black, y'all dumb, y'all this, y'all that. So it ain't. So who are we to deprive them of their foolishness? See what I'm saying? Now, if they want to wake up, they do have a brain, they do use it, then, maybe then, they will get it, 
They will turn. They will learn. If not, we got to wake up. It's on us. Shalom, family. I'm just I'm just ranting right now. You ain't miss nothing. I mean, we just <laughs> banging on uh G- Jeepers, but uh Esau part eight is up, man. Is 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 done. Uh classic, another classic man right here. Esau part eight, the documentary, flames, flames, flames. And I'm gonna drop a little tr- a little trailer tomorrow or whatever. But uh flames up, flamed up. But uh, yeah, family. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yes, let them enjoy their delusion. So, and the reason why we got, why we in a deep sleep is because we've been following false gods. We've been following. Okay, sis, you emailed me just now. We've been following our enemies. Put what on YouTube, sis? What are you talking about? <clears throat> oh, you put something out on YouTube or something? Oh, was it about... um? Was you was you the one that emailed me about um that TV show? Oh nah, I can't put this out on uh YouTube family. I don't put my stuff out on YouTube like that no more. You know that. You know that, man. Since they terminated my channel, I don't put my work out on YouTube like that. Come on now. I'll put a snippet out. I ain't putting my full work out on here. I don't respect YouTube at all, man. Crazy. <laughs> you gotta be crazy to tell me to put my full work on YouTube. Yeah, I ain't doing that. I got no respect for YouTube or none of these platforms. I will use it, but hell no. <laughs> but um, I'm a response, sis, because I ain't. To be honest with you, I, I never seen that. Sh- I seen the show, like I've seen it, like there, but I never checked it out. To be honest with you. I just didn't get a chance to respond back to you because I've been doing all this work and stuff, working on this, uh, this, um, this documentary. But I never seen, I never, um, seen that show like that. So, but I, I wanted to check it out. I had like a little interest to check it out because, of course, you, you know, or whatever. But I just, I never checked that show out before. I did that. I addressed that. See, that's why you got to join the school. This is... I've done seven-part series on Esau. I addressed the whole uh, Esau in Rome. That's in part seven. That's nine hours. Up in the school. Nine hours. You're not getting that anywhere else. Nine hours. Nine hours. But I did address the Esau... In the Rome and Kittim and all of that. I brought that out. Exposed that too. That's another foolish doctrine or whatever like that. Or whatever. People misread stuff. And it's, it's all in the reading. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to check it out though. Since that's the crazy thing. I'm going to check it out. The fact that you mentioned it. I'm going to check it out. I had an interest or... or, or a de- desire to want to check it out because of the title. I just, I just never did. I just never did because I'm always like my mind is here. I got this work to do, got that work to do. But definitely, um, I'm gonna check it out. And now, now that you mention it or whatever, yeah, it's just a new mic, man. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> not, not, nothing special, man. Nothing special, you know. Appreciate it though. Appreciate it. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Join the online school, man. It's cheap. And you're getting a lot of work, hard work. All these lessons I do, I do them from scratch and they're from study that I've been studying over the years. 
study, 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 pile up knowledge. And then once I feel like I'm ready to release something, I'll put uh, the options up. Y'all say y'all want that. And then I'll go and organize it and get everything together for that specific topic or whatever. But um, a lot of great work in the school, man. Shout out to everybody that um, leaves comments and stuff like that on, on the videos and the lessons and stuff that email me. And, you know, yeah, I appreciate the work, man. You know, it's definitely uh, no easy task doing these videos and stuff like that. But. Um, it's a passion of mine. I went to school for this. For those that know my my path, my history, and stuff like that. But um, it's a pleasure, man. And it's for me. It's more, even more of a pleasure that we've been lied to. So that's like that just fuels my desire. You know, it's like it fuels me to want to go in and expose and. Get to the bottom of these damn lies, man. We still been lying. We we still been uh, following lies, man. And that's from the Esau thing. Like I said, I never felt right with the whole idea of calling, saying the white man is is my brother Esau. That just never felt right. Like genetically, it was just like what? Like common sense. Like we go to school, we go people go get these degrees and all that. But as soon as you get in these camps, just like you turn dumb, like. Esau's the white man's my brother. Wait a minute. I went to school, you know, and learned science and, you know, certain things that just like that would never make sense in a scientific realm to even say such a thing. But now you come into these camps, it's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Esau's the white man for sure. That's my brother Esau. And I love Jeepers too. That's right. <laughs> So, yeah, man. But I got you on that, sis, and I, I thank you for that, um, for that uh, insight on that. <laughs> it sure isn't. Yes, I am starting a, a podcast. Yes, yes. So, if you ain't check out that Jeepers joint, man, make sure you do, cuz it's crazy. I'm gonna bring that up. I'm gonna do a live on that. I'm gonna do a live on that. I was actually, <laughs> I was actually supposed to do a live on another yaki situation another video i seen on your boy yaki man which is crazy i'm like look i can't make this stuff up y'all seen the last little trailer that i did the last little not even a trailer it was just like i was just showing y'all something with the woman king and wakanda and y'all see them throwing up these symbols man y'all see what it is i can't make this stuff up so, when I say what I say, people be like, first thing people say, oh, man, you wrong. Like, come on, you definitely wrong on this one. I remember when I first came out with the, um, with the Yaki joint posted on Facebook and people was like, ah, oh, you can't, nah, you wrong. You wrong or you definitely, you totally wrong for this one, man, like. You ain't, like, as if, like, you ain't even know what I was going to bring. You ain't even know what I got. How I'm wrong. I'm showing you already what he's doing is to be clear. And that's what I mean. People so blind. They don't see. They just be so far up somebody's behind. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be too far up somebody's behind. Give them their respect. But, you know, like, if somebody's showing you something and it's clear, then, alright. But, man, deception, man. Deception at its finest, boy. 
We love deception. <laughs> oh, we love deception. Shoot. People thought like, ah, oh, man, you ain't, you wrong with that one, man. Come on, man. Nah, nah. He just teaching health, man. I mean, like I said, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that, but, uh, yo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They don't even know what I'm about to drop. They don't even see what I see, man. And now I got more stuff to confirm for y'all so y'all can see. Look, everything I've been saying is, is look. Look, it's here. It's there. Look, these people sold out. These these camps, Yaki and all these people that get up there to this certain level. That's why I said I do. This is why I turned from the music industry, family. This is why I turned, and I said, heck no, I would never do that. I would never ever. Yeah, I might not have all the knowledge in the world. Even at that time or whatever. But I would never, ever sell out to evil. To be living, pushing a Bentley, a Benz or, or whatever like that. Never. And I don't have the desire to live like a rich man. You know what I'm saying? I can make a little money or whatever, but I don't have a desire to live like a rich man. I live like a bum in, in the sense that I don't wear all the the great designer fabrics and the best shoes and all that. I could wear the same tee. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was in my music industry days and stuff like that, then it's like, okay, well, you know, we got to dress up and blah, blah, blah. You know, that's the, like the same. But man, once I dropped the pride and the, and, and, and the ego and all that stuff that you got to have when you're in the industry... It's like, man, I don't give a damn about none of that. I don't care about none of that. Honestly, you can see how I dress on a regular day. You be like, damn, get this man some shoes. <laughs> but nah, man, on the real, on the real, family. On the real, on the real, man. Ah, man. So yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, I mean, it is, it is the greed, man, and the love for the greed, and to be famous and all of that. I don't care about none of that, and that's why, man. As long as I'm humble to the word and to knowledge and the wisdom, people could say whatever about me. You know, like. I know I got enemies out there. People hate me. You know, I know Hollywood definitely <laughs> hates me. I know uh, um, YouTube hates me. TikTok hates me. Anywhere I go dropping wisdom and knowledge in these videos is just a problem, man. It's a problem. It's a problem. When you bring in pure truth with a talent behind it. It's a deadly thing for the for the powers that be. It's a it's a deadly it's a weapon. It is a weapon to the matrix to destroy the matrix. When you can open somebody's eyes in different ways in a unique way, it's a problem. So, you know, I'm a problem for most people. You know, and that's why I get uh what they call it. Shadow banned and videos act up. They banned my last uh, YouTube channel and TikTok barely want to give me any views. They only give me like 200 views per video. So I got to keep uploading the same video like a hundred times. You know what I'm saying? So, 
yeah, man. So the fact that I'm, you know, I understand I'm a problem. I understand the gift that I have. And, and you know, it is what it is. But I can't help what I see. I'm going to show y'all. And that's going to be that. And you, you take it for what it is. But you see that I make sense. I make it make sense. I'm about making sense. Let's make sense of this nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we we ready for that, man. We ready for the Fed now and whatever they coming with. Evil gonna do what evil do. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Appreciate that, love. You know what I'm saying? Let evil do what evil gonna do. The Most High said what he said. And this is where we gotta start trusting in the Most High's voice. But evil gonna do what evil gonna do. You know, a lot of us, we don't have it to escape and to get out. Only the righteousness, man. Only your righteousness is going to hold you down. And that's the way the Most High is doing it. That's a, that's a word to the wise. That's a gem, you know, for those that really want to make it out of it. Your righteousness. That's how the Father is, is doing it. That's what's going to stand up. Righteousness versus wickedness. You know what I'm saying? So... Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be that you may be hid in the day of the Most High's anger. That's it. The evil gonna do what evil gonna do. That's that's how the Most High Le- laid the cards. We forfeited the game, and now the enemies have the upper hand. And this is why it's so important that we snap out of their matrix. We come out of their lies and deceptions. That's why it's important we do seek the truth and seek the Most High's voice and gain his understanding. That's why it's so important, man. I am uh, the marine life and all of that. I have a lesson called uh, Leviathan. Or whatever that, that sea creature is. Leviathan or something like that. I got that in pocket. I'm waiting on till I get more. Uh, um, more research on it. As I fall upon it and stuff like that. I got a lot of stuff for y'all man. I got the turn the other cheek ready for y'all. Y'all ready for turn the other cheek? Tell me y'all ready for turn the other cheek lesson boy. Woo! Tell me y'all ready for turn the other cheek. Shoot, we got that ready. Turn the other cheek. Hot damn. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all gonna like that one, boy. Turn the other cheek. Hmm. Powerful. I'm stacking up on that one, but it's looking good right now. The notes and clips and stuff like that is stacking up also so um i please please y'all cast y'all votes if you haven't cast your vote for the lesson options tv show options movie breakdown options for this month please do if you haven't but this next month i will be dropping another documentary which i'm so happy to do i'm so enthralled to do I'm so passionate to do called Jeepers is the Devil. Uh, final proof. Final proof. This one is going to be crazy. I got like about uh, about maybe 20, 20 plus films, man. Jeepers is the Devil family. Hollywood understands. It is insane. Insane family. And that's why it's like Christianity, even when I show clips and I show certain things, man, all they say is, oh, this is blasphemy. You're damn right. It's blasphemy. But it's your your religion. This is your idol. Like, yeah. Yes, this is your idol that you follow, you believe. And they're telling you who he is, what he is. Giving you the clues. Like, yo, these people have been giving clues for a long time. 
Think about the virus that just came out. They've been giving clues since what was that movie, man? That came out in the damn. I think it was in the 80s. They've been giving clues and telling you what they're doing, telling you what it is, because they have this like sort of code, this sort of like Freemasonry Hollywood code that is like we tell you. So when we do do what we do, you can't say you was not told. You cannot say you was not warned. So you accept it willingly. You were told what we're doing. You didn't fight. You didn't reject it. So. Here, here, here we go. Here we go. And it was just like the virus. That, po- that popped off. They've been saying it. Saying it. Putting it here. Putting it there. And then, as soon as we get there, people losing their mind. So, yeah, man, it's crazy. And that's why it's just like, it just bugs me out when I try to talk to a Christian minded person that believes in the idol. And I'm like, you don't know what's going on right now? Like,. You don't see all the evil that your your government is doing, and you really think they're gonna they gonna give like this character you believe in that they have been pushing is something good. There's no wickedness behind it. You you really think that like these people are 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 sold and they profit off of your death and killing you, deceiving you. And the biggest thing that they push is sweet jeepers. Sweet jeepers got them. Boy, oh boy, the sweet jeepers. That is one of the biggest cults in America. Believing in jeepers. And because the government, which the Catholic Church and all that, authorizes it, it's okay. See, so yeah, man. It's just like you know when they made they made uh, what they said. Uh, what else? I'm not. I can't even use that analogy. I'm not even gonna use that one. I'm not even gonna use that. But uh, yeah, family, turn the other cheek, man. Possible lesson. <laughs> but anyways, up next, I got uh, before I get out of here, I got um, the TV show breakdown. I'm gonna do. Movie breakdown I'm going to do for the month. The lesson, if y'all continue to cast your votes or whatever, so I can figure out which one I'm going to do. Because there was like a somewhat of a tie or whatever like that. But um, yes, this documentary, I am going to do Jeepers is the Devil, Final Proof. It's going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. The scriptures that I got for y'all were crazy. For those that came to the gathering Y'all got a taste of it, okay? Shout out to those that came to the gathering. They did get a sneak peek of the scriptures that are brought out, and their faces at the table were horrified, okay? Their faces was blown at the gathering when I brought out certain things on this Jeepers character. They were like, yo, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, mm-hmm. You taking credit for that, family? <laughs> well, I already had the topic. Okay, I already. Matter of fact, let me let me let me look at it, man. Let me let, let me hold on a second, man. Hold on a second. Let me show you. So yes, yeah, see. Yeah, where is that? Where's my turn of the turn the cheek? <laughs> yep. Turn the cheek. Yeah. Uh, 
probably ain't gonna be able to see it. This thing don't even stay like that long. This camera ain't anywhere. Anyways, it's there. It's there. <laughs> Oh, you did? Yeah, so. Yeah, man. What, a verse or two on the, le on the lesson? Let me see if I had, because I know I had some movie stuff in here. Okay. All right. Um Matter of fact, all right. So this this I'm going to give y'all one little scripture for it, right? This right here is this is it. <laughs> Somebody pull up in the chat. Pull up in the chat Leviticus 24:19 and 20. Can y'all pull that up for me? That is Leviticus 24 19 and 20 before I dip up out of here no the tribe chart is not accurate it's been false for a long long time long 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 time I've been saying that for a minute that's something that I kind of have a little bit on but I mean I would have to I was thinking about doing a lesson where I break down each tribe, but do it one by one. But can you pull up the the, the verse though? Can you can you put the verse like the full verse in the chat so we can read it? Oh, a verse from the JC's the devil. Oh, 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 or whatever to give people time to get their stuff together, whatever stuff like that. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you, Mr. Franklin. So it reads If a man cause a blemish in his neighbor, as he as he have done, so shall it be done to him. Hmm. So that tells you a lot about the turn the other cheek, right? Because they they say if he what hits you, turn the other cheek, or give him the other cheek, or something like that. Right here in the law, if a man cause a blemish in his neighbor as he have done, so shall it be done to him. And then verse twenty reads, breach for breach, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, as he have caused a blemish in a man. So shall it be done to him. So this right here tells you that the New Testament is a false dummy, dummy book created by your enemies to get to get you to get beat up on. They want you to get beat up on and sit there and take it. It's a slave master's book like I showed y'all in my lesson call. The New Testament, the Slave Master's Book. I've been doing all this work to show y'all, man. Look, we've been deceived, family. We've been deceived. We've been lied to. On so, there's so many lies. So much foolishness. But right there, you see right there. If a man cause a blemish in his neighbor, as he have done, so shall it be done to him. It ain't no turn the other cheek. 
Get your behind whooped. No. You fight back. It's it's, it's simple. It's simple. So the New Testament is a false book. It's a abominable sick book. And I see these stupid Israelite campers, elders, call themselves elders. Oh, yeah, you know, that one is, you know, uh, that verse is true. You know what I'm saying? Turn the other cheek. You know, sometimes you got to do that because, you know, um, you know, yeah, you got to do that. Like, nah, that is not the way of our God. The most I will tell you, look, don't go up there. And fight those people. Because I'm not there with you. They're going to go upside your head. I'm not there. So don't mess with them. That's what the father would would say. As he has said in the past. He's not going to say. Sit there and let somebody go upside your damn head. And then turn the other cheek. what, What sense does that make? What sense does that make? That's abuse. Why would the Most High, the creative old thing, like why? If he loves his people. He loves, Jeepers does not love you. This is what I'm trying to show these damn foolish people, man. Jeepers don't love you. He's telling you to turn the other cheek. But the true God, the living God, the one that doesn't die. He said, somebody touch you, you touch, they behind back. Breach for breach, punch for punch, hit for hit, tooth for tooth, leg for leg, eye for eye. That's how the creator is getting down. So we know this you shower shy, this jeepers creepers is not the son of the most high God. Get the hell out of here. Stop playing. Come on. Yes, it's contradictory. That's the entire New Testament, sis. Absolutely. And that's all I've been showing is contradictory stuff. Because that we're in the hands of our enemies. <laughs> they leave no stone unturned. That's what the devil does. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. If you're not a vengeful person. Then you're just going to get your ass kicked. It's all, okay. What else you expect? You just get your ass kicked and go home and call it a day. If you ain't a vengeful person. That's it. Nothing, ain't nothing else to it, man. That's it. It's all right. That's it. You're not a bad person. I'm just saying. That's what the father is saying. Now again. Again. This is when the most high was with us. Right. This is when the most high was with us. Those were the laws. Because it's a slave master's book. New Testament is a gay. Gay. Slave master's book. Had to add that on there. And a whole bunch of other things. So. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Right there family. We got. And this is why the law is so perfect. This is why the law is so important. Because if we had the understanding of the law and the Torah and what which was our heritage, which is given to us, if we did put more respect on that, man, going for none of those lies. Because now we would be rehearsing what the Father has said. That would be in us, right? His laws would now be in us. The wisdom, knowledge would be in us. And now we understand what the Father is saying. And what we have to do. And can't nobody run no BS on us. 
can't run these Jeeper games on us. Can't run that garbage on us. You see what I'm saying? But since we in the hands of our enemies, we fell victim and we at the mercy of these 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 abominable snowmans, man. Damn. There he goes. That was the it, absolutely, sis. I think I've seen that before too, family. What you're talking about in uh, Exodus 13. Yes, please hit that like button. Hit that like button. I ain't got no likes up here. Got no support up here. Y'all support that documentary though, man. Support that documentary. Join an online school, man. Your boy put a lot of work into this stuff, man. Making these connections. Support, support, support. Family it goes a long way. Also, support arms delivers from death if you don't know you want to purchase sin it's good to give arms and support just a little tip a little gym all right and yes that's what they do <laughs> do a lot of bs in his name because they give they getting that authority they get they getting that authority and that's why they want us to say his name they want us to support the idol. So the new we gotta understand the New Testament confirms our slavery. New Testament confirms our slavery. It tells the slaves to obey their masters in five different books. I brought it, I brought that out when I did that lesson. So you can't say you you a Hebrew Israelite and you in love with the New Testament. And it's telling you to obey your masters. Is telling you to be a good slave. Like. You got to like acknowledge those verses too. You can't just acknowledge oh. You know this Jeepers character and stuff like. You have to acknowledge everything that's being said. In that book. And you go on to be a good slave. (laughs) No doubt, family. Take your time. I ain't going nowhere. They ain't. They ain't. That's why I put all my stuff in my school. Cause they ain't. Listen, listen. Take your time, man. No rush. Ain't rushing nobody. I'm here. I'm just working and letting y'all know what was next. That's it. That's what they did, family. They stole our identity with the Jeepers character, the Son of God character. We were the true sons of the Most High God. They stole our stories of us coming out of Egypt, gave that to Jeepers. Now it's him coming out of Egypt. They stole him being this Messiah. That was, you know, King David, Solomon, all those that were anointed, the house of uh, uh, Levi, the priest. They were the messiahs. They stole these concepts and dumbed it and, and, and superimposed them, basically. So now we think, oh, a messiah means like you're going to be walking on water and you're the son of God and you're doing all these magic tricks. So that's what the people associate when they, when they say the word or hear the word messiah. It just means you was anointed. It don't mean you was walking on water and you had like these superpowers and... And did all these magical things. That's all demonic. It just means that you were anointed by the Most High God. That's it with the holy oil. The holy anointing oil. Well, it's not that if you turn the other cheek, it's sin. It's just saying, if this was to happen, you do this. You have a right to do that. You basically have a right to fight back. That's what it's saying right there. You don't, 
allow nobody to beat up on you. Basically, you have a right to fight back. You have a right to fight your enemies back. And that's the last thing they want the slaves to do. So, yes, you can fight back. Basically. Now, if you can't, you're not in a position to, then use wisdom. That's all. Use wisdom. Can't fight every fight. Can't fight every battle. If you need to back down and walk away or whatever, use wisdom. That's all. But the law is that, look, tooth for tooth, leg for leg, eye for eye. You're not going to think you could just put your hands on somebody and then nothing can happen to you, basically. That's pretty much what it's saying, though. You can't hit somebody or hurt somebody, put a blemish in somebody, and then that's not going to happen to you or that shouldn't happen to you, basically. All praise to the Most High family. And that's the funny thing that you said that says we received our punishment. And see, that's what they don't see. The most high blinded these nations. They looked at, and that's what the most is like. It's almost a privilege. It's almost like a privilege. Like, yeah, we being punished and all that. So it's almost like a, a privilege to be abased at this point. Because we know if we abase, our God is abased. They don't worship our God. They don't worship the true God. So the Most High is not getting his worship because it's supposed to come from us. That's why he's telling us to gather together. Us to do this because we are his people. These people, they in fairyland. They worship in folklores and all these other gods mixed into one. So it's, it's, it's up to us. We are his people. The Most High is not exalted right now. These idols are, are exalted. So, the Most High is hiding his face like he said from his people. We are abased. Cool. This is our time to wake up, snap out of it, come together, realize we are the children of the Most High. He's just waiting on us. Right? If Israel had walked in my ways, I would have soon subdued their enemies. He's waiting on his children. And that's why the enemy got their eye on us. And that's why they try and they invest so hard to deceive you and trick bag you at any turn and to kill you at any turn. Because they know once the father returns, who is he returning for? He said he's going to turn on to Jacob. We're going to pray in him. We're going to seek him. He said we would be found of him. And then he's going to turn to us. And that power is going to rest on his people. And that's a power that no people want to deal with. No nation want to deal with. So that's why it's important to deceive the true children of the Most High God. It's, it's like a matter of life and death to deceive you. And that's what we got to understand. We are powerful people because the Most High God is on our side. We need to understand that, tap back into that. See, now, now now, my YouTube messing up now and all that. See, once I start talking like this, things get crazy. Once once we start tapping into who we are and focusing on that, that energy, I'm telling you, we're going to shake the place. Shake the earth. That's what the Father's waiting for. Gather. Return unto him. He said it a million times. Return unto me. Return unto me. It is him, the living God. He doesn't die. Doesn't die. He's just hiding his face from his people. So we acknowledge our offense. Return to him. Then it's a wrap for everybody. So that's why it's important that we get right. We seek him. And if the other nations want to tag along and learn in humbleness. And know they place, you good. But that power is for Israel. That power is for us. And we, we can see clearly why it's needed. 
The power is for us and it's clear why we need the power of the living God. Because we catching hell out here and we know our, our enemies are plotting tenfold on us and all that. So we going to need the God of heaven and earth to shut it down. And who else but the true children of the Most High God? Who else? The original people, the bloodline people. So we got to snap out of it. Mm-hmm. And see, that's why it's going to be a remnant. Because our people are not going to understand that JC is an idol. That's what the whole remnant talk is about. Because the Most High told us, Deuteronomy 28. He going to scatter us all over and there we're going to worship false gods. We know that's the reason why we got kicked out the land. Worshiping false gods is one of the biggest sins. And that got us kicked out the land. So if we're still not understanding that. You're called. You're, it's, that's a terrible thing. Terrible thing. All the stuff the Most High said in the OT. About worshiping false gods, his anger, the most high. I mean, it's crazy. That's something we don't want to see. We didn't want to see it back then. So we definitely don't want to see it now. And that's what the most high is like. I'm chilling because I'm waiting for my people to wake up. We we are dealing with the punishment. Is his anger is resting on us? So. The, the the crazy thing is these nations, they don't understand when that when them when them tables turn. He gonna change their reality into a whole nother meaning. They gonna wish they never put their hands on you. <laughs>